the commissioner of film and yeah. television. Yes, she right. have to call him commissioner. Yeah. Yeah. You can call me commish. You can call me. All right, uh, listen there, commish. <laughs> yes. So I told you that there is uh, there is some negative stories out there. You didn't uh, tell me that part. <laughs> I didn't tell you. All right, uh, and here is what I have for you. Right. The uh, the guys who did the movie that they so explain what happened. They came in and they filmed a movie in uh, in downtown Utica right. on Sunday. It closed down a Sunday the, Sunday Monday the they, whole nine yards. Apparently, I guess around Tuesday or Mo Monday or Tuesday they got in trouble up and uh, they ran into some difficulty finding locations in Syracuse. Mm -hmm. So they called me on Wednesday. They had the location manager came down and met with him on Wednesday. I met the director and the DP, the director of photography on Thursday. We showed them some locations. They loved it. They were down here on uh, we went up, on, on Thursday. We went over to the Hotel Utica. They love that location there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we had all the locations set out. And they had, then they set up hotel rooms and catering and stuff like that through the hotel. So, so money came to town. Oh, it yeah. was. And, 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 and it, what was amazing was and then we also put them in front of the, uh, the police chief and the fire chief. They were all there. John Roman from the UFD. And uh, all of a sudden, things just started falling into place, and I couldn't believe how wonderful it was all unfolding. It was like it was all like, like it was scripted, and yep. it wasn't, of course. But well, like, that's that's this, that's the problem. That's exactly what they how they've described it. That their experience in Utica, and this is was perfect. Okay. Uh, the negative comes in about uh, the treatment they had. You know how New York has been touting, come to New York, make your movies. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. If yes. you're a big company, right, if right. you're Sony Pictures, come to New York, we'll take care of right. you. But if you're an independent guy like this, they receive no help. Right. And in Syracuse, the fees were so big, they couldn't afford to do it there. That's why they came here. And they said the experience they had in Utica, this is, I'm getting the second hand, but the experience that they had in Utica was phenomenal. Yeah. Well, I was very delighted with the with the response. You were nervous for a second, weren't you? Thought no, no, I don't no, think no, you no, 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 no. As a matter of fact, I'm I'm a, I'm in euphoric state right now because everything went so smoothly. That's I, what they said. And I was amazed at the uh, the turnout. The, the people of Utica are amazing. I mean, we, they asked for extras, so we put the, we put a media thing out there. Yep, Thank yep. you for for your help on that. Mm -hmm. I got a call Friday night. They said, please put a stop on the extras. I mean, they had too many extras, and they had extras yesterday at the train station. They had about the at the at the, at the site crash over by the Hotel Utica. They had three sets of extras that they were wow. using, so it wow. was amazing. And everybody was there. They stood in the cold just to be in this movie, and it was absolutely wonderful. And all the uh, the police department and the fire department, I can't say enough about them. You know, Chief Williams, uh, Captain Noonan, Chief uh, Brooks, and Captain uh, Deputy Chief uh, uh, John Roman, they were all wonderful. Listen, I I, uh, I hate to say, but the what we have right now, and we have a lot of empty buildings, like it or not, yeah. they're the warehouses, yeah. old manufacturing. There is a there there's a there's a, a great backdrop right. there. I mean, why not take advantage of that right now? It's very location. Utica is location rich with uh, for stuff they want to do like we that. Are, yeah, yeah. And yeah. uh, also, Chris Talgo opened up his store so they could use that storefront. I mean, everybody was just wonderful. And the vendors on that street. <clears throat> I don't know what do you want to call it, like Genesee Street, Bag Square, the yep, coffee yep. shop, Frank yep. and uh, Frank and Heather. Thank God they were. A little problem there early in the morning yesterday, but then that that was resolved. But uh, classic pizza, everything was wonderful. What was the problem? Now the uh, the, the uh, roadblock got put up too early. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> but we got it. that done. So business as usual. All right. So, um, but the fact is, though, that um, that uh, from what I have been told, right. is that their treatment, even in Syracuse, that the the fees yeah. uh, for them, yeah. it was upwards of twenty thousand dollars for them to. It's, cra it's crazy. To stay. And and this would be good. See, the problem is Syracuse gets all that national publicity. They're on ESPN three times a week. They're they're getting all of and ESPN goes around to Dinosaur Barbecue and they go to all of these places. Yeah, yeah. Utica gets completely left out right. of that, and it's a great opportunity. Yeah. So why not come to a place that would like you to come? Right. It's upsetting that the the, 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 uh, the notoriety we get is is, is nil. But yeah. I'm gonna try to chart, uh, change all that because they, you know it's, it's the film commission um, down in Albany. We got to change all that. Mm -hmm. The guy was here, but all they, they they get as far as the train station. I think that's the only location we have here. But right. I've got to get them here, and I'm I'm working on that now. But uh, you know it, the people love it here, and and, and if you look at the the, uh, the Oscars this year, all the nominees, most of those are indie indie films. Yeah. So yeah. the low budget, they're like like. And there are a lot of white people here, so I mean uh, they <laughs> can. You had to go there. I don't get so it. You had to go That's there. That's the Oscar thing. Oh, 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 okay. Well, I was wondering oh. why we were taking that. Sorry. So I, I was going to say, you talked about people come here and they think the train station is all we have. We had that guy on who did the little photo. Yeah, the oh. guy that did yeah. the photo blog. Yeah. I thought he did a great job and it was very nice, but it was centered around the train station. Right. And I wanted yes. to say to him, 
There was so much you missed. But man. I think that when people come to town, they only they don't know the. It's like when you go to New York City. That's why I always say, uh, call up, email Peter Franklin in New York City, and he'll give you a tour to places that you've never been. Because people, when they go to New York, they go to the same old places. Yeah. And we could do, offer the same thing. Well, I, th I think this guy that wrote that blog was kind of limited because wasn't he on like a laser scooter or something like that? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And, that, and, and, and he did. Those pictures were amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm surprised he got that far up, up Genesee Street. But that was basically the reason why David Farrell, uh, you know, started that commissioner of films uh, yeah. position was because people come in, they want to know what's going on. I show them around. I know exactly what they're looking for, what genre of film they want to do. Right. And I say, well, I got this building, I got that building, and all of a sudden they fall in love. They're moving in here and stuff. But we're not getting enough films. You know, before I was getting a lot of student films. Mm -hmm. Now I'm getting some indies. It's great. And the, and the yeah. people love, love love this stuff. We had a couple of kids, some independent filmmakers. They wanted to come down and get their name out there. I mean, they were they were getting paid squat, and yep. so they just came out and uh, hung out there, saw how the the glamorous life of filmmaking. You know how that is, William. It's just but to be able to write, to be able to be a film student <laughs> or anything like that, and to be able oh, yeah. to see some yeah. of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it true that Stephen King uh, uh, has written some of his books staying in Utica? I've heard that's true. I don't know. I don't know. I've heard that story too. Yeah. I don't know if that's yeah. true. I probably made it up about ten years ago. Well, sounds people, good. Well, what's wrong? What's wrong with that? But I'm pretty sure it's true. Well, there was a, a while back that his daughter was actually a minister at a church on Higby Road. So um, yeah, I, is that true too? Yeah. Wow. Exactly. What do you mean? Like she lives here? She, well, she, well, she was a minister. She was a minister of the church. I guess that her and the congregation ended up uh, not agreeing on a lot of things, and she ended up leaving. But for nice. a while, she was uh, the pastor. Is that church right on? I think it's uh, not the Universalist or. Uh, I think as you're going up, it's got a right hand turn and you yeah, go in. Like used to be like a farmhouse in there or something. Yeah. Right. All right, there, Buck. Well, wait a second. I got. I got you're not oh, throwing me out yet. You have more. Oh yeah. We, well, they, we, we we ran into a problem. You know, the train station. They wanted the train station. They wanted to shoot that on Sunday. All of a sudden, a little problem came up because they had the train show there, the mini train. So these people uh, were flexible. I didn't hear about that, they yeah. were flexible enough where they could move their shoot to Monday. So I right see. then and there, they they said, let's book the rooms at the hotel Utica. Let's do the catering. Let's do, and they opened the bar. So some of the shooting happened on uh, Sunday, but some of it happened on Monday. Oh yeah, too. Sunday and Monday. So they extended, yeah. and, and that's the difference. Their their stay cost them hotel rooms, right. maybe paying people a little bit longer, but it didn't involve a twenty thousand dollar fee that they no, were being charged. No, no, no. We I haven't I haven't incorporated those as of yet. Yeah, got that. <laughs> yeah, wait till we start getting the Sony picture deals. Then we'll. But be. The did you see that they, they took over KTV yesterday? They, they took over WKTV and shot there because the story is about irrefutable proof. Is the story is some scientist, some lady scientist discovers that God doesn't exist, mm, and, right, the right. and the irrefutable proof comes well, from. Wait, 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 before you ruin another movie on these airwaves, <laughs> Sorry, I have, I, I don't go too far. Okay, there. well it's gonna, it's gonna, I guess it's gonna screen. It's got a debut in uh, yeah. in the fall in New York City, so we're all going down. All right, okay, really let's cool. go down, yeah. a bus trip or something. Let's do it. I like I'll it. Set, I'll set it up. We'll, Make it we'll, enough. I'll get, a, I'll get a free bus right too. I love it. <laughs> but I can listen. I wanted to just thank everybody in Utica for being so agreeable. So, you know, everybody was there. It's, yeah. It was amazing. I was amazed. I'm in awe of the whole thing. So, thank you, everybody. Well, nice job. And um, I, it's a positive to bring these things here. I think. Well, it's, well, it, and, and not to mention the the fact that it's something going on. And it's a. It's just a, a lot of. We aren't used to this sort of thing. No, we're not. But it also brings money into town, which is good. It did, and I want to thank you for bringing it to Lightwood. Try to do that. Right, Thank you. You're, you're the best.